Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. The bee has just come out for you for your love reading. So it's a weekly love reading. Oh, and the stingray. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate Aquarius. And if you would like to, we are actually is going to be an extended reading. If you want to delve into this deeper, look at how your person feels about you. So let's get stuck into it since the cards have come out so cleanly. We have a relationship here between the bee and stingray. The energy is coming out. The bee representing the element of air and stingray the element of water. I feel like um, this is, there's a playfulness to this, to this relationship, but it's also got an edge to it that someone's playing, someone's getting a bit hurt and not necessarily showing that they're as hurt as they are, but they're withdrawing a little bit, turning away a little bit. It's uh, becoming hard work for them because uh, there is this sense that uh, underneath some of the words there could be some truths, that there's maybe some nastiness, uh, even though it's presented in a playful way it's making them feel small it's not making them feel good about themselves and so it's kind of to the point where they're just kind of turning away one person's turning away so yeah let's have a look delve into this a little bit deeper Aquarius we'll pull some cards for the recent past the present and the future so let's pull some cards for Aquarius I mean, the stingray does have a sting in its tail. And I don't, it's almost like it doesn't use it, but it's just by keeping it there, it's this um, really subtle um, inferred threat or inferred danger or inferred that I could hurt you, but I'm not going to, but I could. And maybe these words do hurt, but I'm, guy, there's something about this, they're concealing something in the way they're communicating, but there is, they're not deliberately hurting you, but there is this sense of, they kind of know they are, they're just doing it in this back backwards way, backhanded way. And it's almost just knowing that they've got that potential to hurt you makes you feel vulnerable, makes you feel, um, you can feel that. You can feel the sting even if they're not using it quite overtly. So, yeah, let's see what we can get more about this Aquarius. Two of Cups, the Fool, and the Four of Cups for the near future. And, yeah, Eight of Wands as the overall energy. This has got a lot to do with communication, the words happening between the two of you. So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's definitely in that kind of element. But there's also um, a sense of there might be some swift changes coming in to this relationship because I feel like someone's on their way out, someone and the other person's not realising that yet. So let's look at the recent past. We have the Four of Swords, the Tower and the Empress. So some two pretty big cards there, the Tower and the Empress, uh, with the Four of Swords. And I feel like with this, it's a sense of, again, someone's withdrawn. Someone has kind of gone, I just need some time out. I need some recovery. I need to just go away and think about this. I need to actually work out what's going on here. Because it's so confusing, the messages, getting mixed messages. Because one minute you're getting the tower, one minute you're getting the empress. It's all good. Next minute it's all bad, tearing everything down, tearing you down, all that sort of energy. And then it's like, oh, but everything's all good. It's um very there's two sides very like I said there's this very there's two sides to this person that you're dealing with here Aquarius and it's almost gaslighting in a way with this it's very confusing and it's got to the point where you're like I, I just I want to I want to get out of here I don't understand there's confusion around this and it's fair enough because this person is not being entirely so I was saying there's some sort of deception. They're not being entirely honest. It's kind of really confusing to explain what's going on, but there's like words have meanings and there's all these double meanings and what's reality and what's not. There's that sort of energy. 
And was that just a joke or was there actually like a bit of heat to that comment, that kind of energy? So for the present energy, we have the King of Wands, the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Again, you know, it's someone looking in the other direction. It's someone like the bees heading in the other direction. The Four of Swords has taken time out. And I do feel like this is you, Aquarius. I feel like, again, you're looking now to, for further afield. You're kind of like, you know, stepping back into your power and going, I don't deserve this. I don't want this anymore. What is it? Looking from a higher perspective about what it is that you want from your life. And I feel like you might they might be coming back crawling with their tail between their legs. They could be wanting to say, I want to work. I want this to work. I'm a, you might get an apology. It's very much, you know, like let's work on this. Let's make this work. I'm so sorry. I love you. All that kind of energy. And you're just like, I've turned my back on that, okay? I've got a new direction, a new vision for my life here. So, yeah. And in the near future, we have the Two of Cups, the Fool, and the Four of Cups. So it's like they're not giving up anytime soon. They're very much like you're the one I love and they're coming presenting as almost like a wolf in sheep's clothing. You know, here I am, I've changed I'm amazing, I've released all my baggage and you're very much, I do love you, you're the one for me, I know that now and I've treated you badly, all this blah, 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 blah. And then you're just very unsure about what's actually on offer here because you don't know if they really have changed. It's They're presenting like that but it's like you don't know whether to believe it or not. So there's a reluctance to kind of take up this offer that's coming to you here, Aquarius. So, and it might actually be that they believe, they actually genuinely believe it themselves, that they are now the full card. They're this brand new beginning. They want this brand new start with you. They actually believe that they've changed. So, and... That's why it's confusing because a lot of it is self-deception for them as well. There's part manipulation, part self-deception. <coughs> Sorry, Aquarius. Yeah, the card that's just come out is recovery, and that's what we got with that Four of Swords. This is the messages from the angels. You need a period of recovery here. You need to connect to your angels, to your spirit guides, to soul and spirit to whatever God, whatever it is that you connect to, just nature, you just need to connect back in with yourself and have your own space. You need some time to recover from this because it's taken a lot out of you. It has uh, because it's it's almost a form of, yeah, mental abuse almost, um, but it's psychological. It's been very psychological draining and which may have had an effect physically as well and mentally, emotionally. So, yeah, definitely the angels are saying you need a period of healing, you need a period of recovery. So let's pull a card message from the universe for you, Aquarius. What can we get for Aquarius around this relationship message from the universe? And I feel like you will know this. I don't feel like you're necessarily going to want to take up this uh, this offer. I think you've kind of, it's a bit like the straw that broke the camel's back. It's just one thing too many. It's almost like you just don't know if you can go back there. So what else can we get? Right, let's have a look. What have we got? We've got inner truths and infinite blessings. So, yeah, I, I think that's so spot on and poignant for you because the truth you are going to find deep within yourself that knowing that you find within yourself Aquarius you're not going to I don't think you're going to find the truth in the situation in the communication or even looking at you know what was true what was said and is that you know being a bit of a sleuth I don't think you're going to find that I think you're going to and this is what you've been encouraged by spirit and the angels is to just go deep within and you do have infinite blessings. You are being looked after here. Uh, and 
yeah, that knowledge will be deep within you. So that is kind of what your guiding light should be, not any external truth, any external words or any external evidence, whatever that is, it should be what your gut says, what you feel deep down. So I hope that makes sense for some of you guys, Aquarius. It's probably fairly specific to some of you. Um, if you want to delve more, we are going to go deeper into some of this behavior and what's going on, uh, how they feel, really feel about you or what might be really going on with them and we're in the deep read. So if you'd like to, and we can also, also take a peek at the future beyond this reading. So if you want to go there and come along with me and we'll, we'll have a look at this a bit longer, a bit deeper, uh, the link will be in the description box below. Just click on extended reading and that will take you there. If this is where I'm leaving you, uh, Aquarius, then take care and important message of recovery, of looking deep within, finding those inner truths and that knowing that you're blessed by the universe. So if you enjoyed this reading, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care, Aquarius. I'll see you next time. Bye.